and we will move over to a couple tidbits with the storm. Yeah, not too much going on with the storm yet, but they will be hosting the Alex Sparks in a preseason game on April 23rd at 6 p.m. at Climate Fudge Arena. So if you want to catch a game before we get into the season, make sure to be there. Um, on the 25th, Ezzy Magbagor, see, I knew I was going to do that, <laughs> was named the WNBL's Youth Player of the Year. Um, this is her third time winning the award. She averaged 16.1 points and 7.5 rebound, rebounds. So congratulations to Ezzy. I think it's important that we touch on this because, you know, winning that award is great, but also with what we've talked about with the Storm roster, mm -hmm. right, it's going to be really key that we get, you know, improvements and growth from a player like Ezzy when you didn't sign a Tina Charles, right? Yeah. Or just make a real – out of the other, like Stephanie Dolson, uh, Emma Messerman. You know, there were a lot of candidates out there, and I don't know if it was a cap situation or just it wasn't in the plans mm -hmm. to not sign someone, but also it's just having her role, just really seeing a breakout uh, was really important because I, I – you really hit it on the head when you said it, but not putting too much pressure on your big three is huge. It's huge. And so to go back to the April 23rd game against the Sparks, this is Sue Bird's last season. So if, if you have any idea who Sue Bird, Sue Bird is or you want to be, you get on this this train while it's heading, leaving the station effectively. Yeah. Any chance I would take care of it now and get, get your tickets out of the way. Single game tickets actually went on sale today. Mm -hmm. So I would get on top of that. Uh, maybe I think on the storm segment, we'll link that in the description just so yeah, that's available. I know whenever sure. things are right in front of me, it makes it easier. So, uh, but also some league notes. So we'll get back to that. Yes. On March 23rd, it was reported that the U S gained temporary access to Brittany Griner, um, an official official from the U S embassy in Russia recently checked on this WNBA star who's, and she said that she's in good condition. Um, every time I read these, it's always so funny to me because I just don't understand like what good condition can mean. Hopefully it means that mentally she's in a state of mind where, um, she's thinking positive and hoping that this ends soon. Yeah. And, and I think we talked about it last week with this idea that, um, just kind of figuring out more details, right? Like, Oh, we, what is the U the United States actually doing? There's, there's some case of that, but I want to know, is there a plan in place or right. are we working on trials? You know, I, I want, and I want to know more details about this because again, you could talk if it was some man, uh, from the, some other, like W like some NBA star was in, in Russia. Uh, jello ball. I feel like, Oh, that's that whole situation. That he was, wasn't detained for very long. Yeah. So I, I would want to hope to hear more about that and get her back as soon as possible, preferably before May, you know? So. Yeah. Yes. And moving on to some more uplifting news here. Elena Del Don is going to assist Joe Biden. The mystic superstar will be the co-chair of the president's council on sports, fitness, and nutrition after Herschel Walker was asked to step down. So asked to step down and knew that we were bringing Elena Del Don right in to fill that role. So congrats to her. 